Hi, my name is Giovanni from CPC, and I'm going to show you how to encode your DV video to be ready for broadcast servers. You're going to need two ingredients. First, you're going to need your actual QuickTime DV video. If we open this in QuickTime, we can see that this video is encoded with the DV codec at 720x480 standard definition with uncompressed stereo audio at 48 kilohertz. Once you have this video, you need to bring it in to Mac Caption. To do that, you drag and drop it into the video area. Now, Mac Caption is separated into two parts. The GUI has a video preview area and has the text area for the closed caption data. Now, the next ingredient you'll need is a tab delimited text file, which can be done on any word processor. The text file has timecode in tab, timecode out, and then the text. Once you have that, you simply drag and drop it into the text area of Mac Caption and select treat each line of text as one caption. This text may include optional tab delimited in and out timecode. Press OK and now all the text with the timecode is migrated into Mac Caption. If there are any errors with the timecode, such as overlapping timecode, Mac Caption will prompt you for those errors here. Select the down arrow to find those errors. Click on the exclamation marks, and sure enough, the reason why there's an error here is that the timecode repeats itself. If you find that is the issue, you simply add or fix the timecode appropriately. Once the timecode is fixed, then those errors will disappear. And now you're ready to export and add those captions to your video. To do that, you go to File, Export, select DV, and make sure that you have the Create Closed Caption Output Movie using Currently Open Movie checkbox. Hit Save and leave all of these unchecked for the data lowest limit as a default. My caption will now create a clone of your QuickTime DV movie. The only difference between the original and the clone is that the clone will have special metadata packets with closed caption data for TV broadcast embedded into the DV codec. Once that clone is created, you can check it to make sure that the caption data sure enough is in there. To do that, we're going to try to retrieve the caption data. Let's clear all our captions and let's set decode to closed caption channel CC1. We can drag and drop the newly captioned DV video into the text area to look for and extract the newly created closed caption data. If the text and timecode populates, then this DV25 QuickTime file is ready to upload to the server. And that is how you create closed captions for your DV video.